factors of production. We know that the central theme of economics is scarcity. It's about using limited resources to satisfy unlimited ones. So what are resources? Well, in economics, when we talk about resources, it has to be productive, meaning we can use these resources to produce something. Suppose you want to sell awesome coffee to people. What do you need? Mm, maybe a cafe? So you got to rent some place. That's land, isn't it? You also need water and electricity and of course coffee beans. What's this? Raw materials. What else do you need to sell coffee? What about coffee maker machines? Cash registers for cash transactions? So these are machines and tools that help us produce our goods. In this case, coffee. These are also what we call capital. Tools, machinery, even factories are considered physical capital. Another type of capital is human capital. It refers to knowledge and skills of people that enhance their production capacity. For instance, your knowledge on how to make awesome coffee is a type of human capital. One question. Is money considered capital? Well, in economics, resources have to be productive. Can money itself help you produce anything? No. Although you can use money to purchase resources like machines or coffee beans, money by itself cannot produce anything. So it's not considered as a type of resource. It is understandable that some of us may find this confusing because we often hear news commentators referring investment capital or financial capital to money. Yeah, in fact, in our everyday lives, we often equate money to capital. However, money is not an economic capital. In economic terms, money is not capital because it cannot produce anything like a machine does. Rather, money is an expression of value. With money, it is easier for us to exchange goods and services. Money serves as a lubricant for the economy. Alright, once you make coffee, you need to sell it, don't you? So you need waiters, you need labour, you need to hire people. With land, capital and labour, what else do we still lack? Mm, who's going to bring these resources together? Who's going to organize this together and make it a productive enterprise? You! Yes, you! Who are you? Well, you are the boss, the entrepreneur. Entrepreneurship is also a kind of resource as the entrepreneur bears risk and brings the other three resources together to make a business work. Without entrepreneurs, no business organization can begin. Okay, I hope your coffee business is successful. Before you forget, there are four types of resources, namely land, capital, labor, and entrepreneurship. Thank you. <laughs>